Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the 2024 theme, and we're going to create a single landing page template with no header, uh, a little bit of a footer, no page title, no featured image, so that you can create landing pages for whatever it is, ad campaigns, marketing campaigns, maybe you're doing pay-per-click, and you want to drive traffic to a page that you're really looking for somebody to really hit and dial in on that call to action, buy that product, sign up for that newsletter. I love uh, landing pages like the wpminute.com slash subscribe. It's a verbal call to action I have in my podcasts and my videos that once somebody visits that page, really the only action there is to subscribe to the newsletter. Maybe I have the podcast, but I think it's just the newsletter right now. So landing pages are useful. 2024 actually has some really nice patterns uh, that allows one to create a nice little landing page, but the templates that it ships with isn't uh, perfect for this scenario. So here's a sample page. This is what a page looks like in 2024. Featured image, uh, page title, uh, of course, the, the header and footer areas, and you want to kind of remove that. So let's dive in and we'll set that up now. Go to the dashboard. First thing we're going to do is actually work on a uh, footer template part, because in my scenario, maybe you don't want all of the navigation items that you're uh, default footer has, but maybe you want like the copyright at the bottom or maybe a, a link to go back to the, the main website, but it's a little bit more uh, less uh, intrusive and it just doesn't have all of the content that we see here in the footer section. So first thing we'll do is go to the template parts and we will click on footer. And by default, our footer has a site logo, has our site name and a bunch of pages. That's how 2024 ships. And the reason why, <clears throat> I'll tell you, I'll show you the reason why once we start building the template, the reason why we're creating this first is because you can't modify the footer and save it in that template without modifying the footer across your entire website. So let's duplicate this. <clears throat> and we will uh, rename this to simple footer. Save. And now we'll start to edit this. So when I start to build the template later, if I were to modify the footer template part, the default footer template part, it would change it across the board. We're going to set one up here that is going to just leave this copyright section. This just ships with design uh, with WordPress. But what we'll do is leave that last component here, which is in this group. We'll even rename this to copyright section, save, and then we'll remove everything else up top. Uh, and you could even modify this design with WordPress, copyright, uh, the WP minute 2024. I think there actually is a copyright. Maybe not. I'm sure there's a block that you can get. Uh, or some PHP snippet that will update the date, the, the year for you when you put a cop, uh, copyright message in. Okay, we'll save this. <clears throat> and remember, that's called Simple Footer. Okay, so now we'll go to our templates. And we'll look at the page templates that we have. Um, there are... There is only really one that I think you could maybe get away with for a landing page template, and that's uh, the template that has page no title. So you can see here in the sample section, um, it just doesn't have a featured image or a page title. And you could assign that as your landing page, but probably not the best for the scenario that we're going for. So let's go ahead and create a new template. You have some choices here. I'm just going to go with custom template for this example. And I'll call this uh, landing page. And we'll create it. And I'm going to put in uh, the default sort of template layout here, the default pattern that they have, just so you can see me deconstruct it. Maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. So open up the list view. And you can see we have our template, uh, our header template part and our footer template part, I'm going to remove the footer template part because we don't want that one. What we want to add in
is a template part. Choose. And we want our simple footer. I see it there, but I'm going to show you when you search. Simple footer. And we'll put that in. Now, this is the one that we modified. There's design with WordPress, copyright uh, the WP Minute 2024. And remember, it's only going to appear on this landing page template, not across our entire website. Back to the list view. We're going to get rid of um, the header template part, but let me just deconstruct some of this for you. So in these groups, you'll notice that we have a couple of spacer blocks here, our post title, and our featured image. We want to get rid of this, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete these. And just one thing to um, just pay attention to. This is very simple and, and maybe pretty obvious to some, but just by, by deleting the uh, post title and featured image, we still have the spacer block here. We, we want to get rid of that because when we delete the header template part, we'll still have a space. And that's totally up to you. It depends on what kind of design um, you're looking for with your landing pages. And I'm going to leave this here for a moment because I'm going to demonstrate it later. But I just want you to be able to visualize, hey, like, where do I want a separation? Do I want some uh, space between where the content begins and the top of the, the website? Totally up to you on how you want to design that. Now, also, uh, we're going to save the, the landing page. <clears throat> By default, the uh, 2024 content area uh, it's it's fairly narrow, um, and what you might want to do, and I'm just going to show you this as an option, some landing pages, maybe you don't want it to look like a, a typical page or a typical blog post. Uh, then you want to go, you don't want to go crazy and make it look totally different from your site. But oftentimes, maybe you want to bump up the width. You want to put in more graphics. Maybe you want to put in three testimonials, you know, horizontally across uh, across the page. I'm just going to show you that you can adjust that on a per template basis. We'll bump it up to, let's say, 1,000 pixels wide. It gets much wider than it was before. Maybe even uh, 960 is a better uh, width for something like that. So you can just see that we're applying the content width area to 960 pixels, and it's just a little bit wider from the rest of our site. Landing page, maybe you want some more content, a little bit more dynamic stuff happening, so this might fit the bill. You could make it full width across uh, the board if you want as well. Totally up to you. So we'll save that. And now to demonstrate it, we'll go to our pages. So we'll go and create a page and apply uh, this template. So we'll go to our sample page that we were looking at before, I believe that's what we were looking at before on the front end. If we preview this, this is a sample page um, set up with the default template. So sample page, featured image, paragraph. Now pay attention to how sort of narrow this content area is here. And all we have to simply do is if we want to turn sample page into our landing page, we'll go to template, select that landing page template we just created, Update, you can see that the content already dynamically changed. You'll still see your page title here in the back end uh, in the editor. And then we'll preview that. And now we have no more header. We have that new footer that we designed, which is super simple. Uh, and our content area is a lot wider. Now, remember, we left that spacer block at the top uh, of our template because, hey, it looks decent if your content is starting, you know, there's enough uh, room there and it, and it reads really well. <clears throat> but if you were trying to do something like design a really unique, a really engaging landing page with a lot more patterns, especially the ones that 2024 gives you by default. So we'll go to patterns, all patterns. Like, for instance, I really like this RSVP pattern. I'm going to plop that in. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I have that also on my other website, Matt Report, and I use that uh, as, you know, instead of saying RSVP, it just says listen, listen to the WP Minute, because uh, I no longer publish the Matt Report right now, and I put a new sort of like AI gener generated image there. So I kind of like this pattern. I think it works really well, and depending on what you're trying to convey, I think it's pretty good. Um, but looks, look what happens when we leave the spacer block at the top. 
and now our spacer block uh, leaves that space there. So maybe we wanted to connect that to the top of the browser window. All we would have to do is go back to our template and remove that spacer block so that it kind of uh, fills in that gap. But other than that, this is a fairly straightforward uh, and maybe very beginner level type of uh, demonstration video today, creating a landing page. All we did was remove the header, created a, a header template part. We created a new footer template part to really simplify it. And we took out the page and post title and the featured image. And now from here, you can just start creating uh, your, your particular landing page. And if you wanted to add in something like a WooCommerce product, uh, do I have WooCommerce installed on this? I think I do. Uh, yeah, here we go. So we have under the WooCommerce blocks, we'll just do single product. Uh, I don't even, I only have one product here, so we'll hit done. Boom, Matt's ebook, update. Probably not the best uh, <laughs> pattern to have above, uh, but if you are creating, a, again, a landing page for verbal call to actions, you're doing some traditional marketing and you want to have a direct sale to a particular product or service, you could start building out your landing page with nothing else to distract. And, and that's really the, the simplified essence of creating these landing pages uh, because now people aren't distracted. If you're spending money on pay-per-click, uh, you're sponsoring a podcast or something like that. Again, when I say the wpminute.com slash subscribe, we don't want you to be uh, distracted with anything else on the screen. And I'm going to make sure I don't put my foot in my mouth here because I've been known to do that. I do have the header <laughs> and the footer on my subscribe page, but I could remove this and I could remove that distraction. Uh, but I think the hero image here is pretty bold enough to let you say, hey, this is what I want to do. This is um, uh, my particular landing page for signing up for the newsletter. And now you could build out the same thing here. Again, distraction free, like we've built with the landing page and those templates. Again, I know this is pretty simple. Maybe some of you haven't seen this stuff before. You can create as many templates as you want. You can create templates for you know different landing pages, different types of landing pages, and you can just swap them out on a per page per post basis. Um, you know, and really approach the situation that way. You know, I would think about the the larger structure of your landing pages. Again, do I want all my landing pages to not have a header? Do I want them all to have a particular footer? Um, you know, and you're not creating a landing page for every single page, but you want to think of it in a scalable way. Will 12 pages work with this template? Will another 12 pages work with this template instead? Um, you know, you can get pretty flexible when you start to build out the different templates with the different template parts and then applying them on a page by page basis. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you using 2024 or using 2024 to sell stuff? You can check out the WooCommerce video I did, which was very simple. You can see here uh, products display great. Uh, I think the WooCommerce compatibility is like, I don't know, 98% there. There are some little quirks, but I think for the most part, especially when you get into the site editor, um, but I think for the most part, that'll start to improve over time. I still like 2024. Uh, we're heading into halfway through March. And I like to say we're heading into April already. And, uh, you know, plans for 2025 are probably going to start creeping up really soon. But you can count on me to continue coverage for 2024 and 2025. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And hey, if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, go to the fast track, the wpminute.com slash fast. If you're working on a WordPress project, you're about to embark on a WordPress project, you have questions and you just want answers directly in a very professional setting, a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me, go to the wpminute.com slash fast. I don't know, 20 years of, of WordPress knowledge, running an agency for a decade, working in tech pretty much all my life. I can answer most questions for you. I'm not a coder, not a designer. I won't fix the site for you, but I can certainly point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.